Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some gruel slivers. Today, we're up against Nim Chimsky. Uh, I know this guy from online. He uh, likes doing a lot of interesting new decks, so uh, I'll be curious to see what we're up against here with him. Don't know if I want to keep this hand. It's a beautiful hand otherwise than the one lander, so I think I'm going to have to mulligan. Um, uh, two lightning bolts. Ugh. Ugh. Ugh, I don't know if I want to mulligan again. Let's keep. We'll uh, dump the vines. And we'll uh, just hope for the best. Let's pass. And see what Nim Chipsky's up to today. Uh, if you guys watch Popperganda, he's usually in the stream following along. Probably recognize his name if you follow Popperganda. Let's just start Bolton, shall we? Nice. Okay. We got our mana. We got our game going. Let's do this. He's probably like, what? Heart sliver, gruel slivers, uh-oh. Yeah, that's right. We're on that gruel slivers game. Deals one damage to any target. Okay, all right. And a Thraben Inspector. Good deal. So my guess is he's gonna try to add counters to this to deal with our board. Uh, we're going to make it pretty difficult for him. If he wants to trade here with anything, I'm all for it. We have another one of these. Let's see what he wants to do. He's going to chump. He's going to double block. Alright, we'll do it like that. It's fine. Keep their Thraven. We'll get this Javeliner off. Journey! Uh-oh! Fair enough, fair enough. Got a winding way, that's pretty nice. Um, I'm, I'm down with that. I'm down with that. Let's just play out our heart sliver, swing in for another piece of damage here. All right. Rift Watcher. That's a good one. That's a good pull. Might just knock that out of the sky really quick, honestly. Hmm. What's it worth to me, huh? Got six damage here. I think I'm going to go Winding Way. Just refill our hand. Try to get some better creatures going. That's some better creatures. I like it. Get that Vanishing going. Probably take at least two damage here. I'm hoping they don't, he doesn't deal with our Heart Sliver. I'd love to be able to swing in with an extra creature next turn. It'd be nice. It'd be nice to get a, another Mountain going, too, so we can hold up Lightning Bolts. All right, Core Sky Fisher. I'm going to bring back Thraben. Fair enough. I like what he's putting down. Just going to pass. Okay. Hmm. Let's just get set up here. We're just going to get set up. That's it. We're going to pass. We're going to set up for a bigger turn. When another creature you control leaves the battlefield, put a plus one, plus one on Nithbridge Patrol. Okay, so yeah, so he plays with a bunch of, you know... Odd end creatures, trying to get some kind of random combo going. I can appreciate it. Usually only wants to play um, specialty decks that are that are brand new. Alright, swinging in. Another forest is pretty good. So let's put down a predatory. 
see what he does here. I think it's time we just get this out of our way. It's only got one thing on it. But I want to swing in this turn. Hmm. Still don't have, like, the best attack. Trying to think what's the best thing to do here. Maybe just another pass. Could always just uh, swing in with a couple creatures. Chances are he's probably got like another journey or something to take care of this predatory. So I don't like want to miss the opportunity to keep stuff off the battlefield. I'm just going to go ahead and attack with these. Well, we'll take out this guy. Hmm, ephemerate, huh? Nice. That's pretty nice. Good deal. Well, it's a good thing we did attack in with our Lord. So now we're running into some problems. That's a cool, that's a cool combo. I like that. Gotta watch out for all this trickiness. He's just gaining all this life, doing all this crap. As long as he can't deal with our Lord this turn, I think we'll be in decent shape. We're gonna have to kill this patrol guy. He's getting too big. He's gonna be out of reach of a lightning bolt. Swinging in with Sky Fisher. Okay. Ah, when it dies, return to the battlefield transformed. Can't block 2 1. Okay. It's not the worst thing in the world, but it does definitely go with his whole combo here. He's got Bone Spitter. Mm-mm-mm. I don't like what's happening. Hmm. Get rid of this guy. And again, I'm in this weird position of do I attack or do I not? I kind of want to take some some stuff off the battlefield, even if it means getting rid of some of my lords. Because I can double block a lord. Honestly, I think I'm okay with that, considering they have two cards left. They're going to triple block. Okay, that's fine. We're going to go ahead and take care of this Rift Watcher first, I believe. Put them to 14, get rid of a creature. We can start doing blade back too, which will be nice. I 
Ooh, that's not a good sign. What else do you got to play? Uh, we need a mountain to go hellbound. Hellbent. And I'd love to go hellbent next turn. Just start doing that. Because they're just... They've got such a developed board. That's hard. Do we go for the violent outburst? Let's go for the violent outburst play. Let's see what happens. We're going to get rid of the sky fisher. See what we can get. One to eight. Still really want to go hellbent here. As soon as we can, we will. Those guys are annoying, though. They're very annoying. Bone splitter goes on him. Alright, our clock's going. Such an off the wall deck. Well, there's that. Uh, might be a little too late now. So uh, we can't really survive one more turn. Which is a bummer. That might have been a mistake. We'll take this. Then, uh... Then we just hit him for eight. Yeah, he should have put the bone spitter on something. That was a mistake. I think we got really lucky here. He definitely could have just put the bone splitter on. Quite unfortunate. Oh, there we go. Yes, yes, yes. Well, we went hellbent. Very nice. Very cool. All right, Bladeback coming in uh, very clutch there at the end, but he definitely made a mistake in playing what he played. Uh, we should have, by all means, been dead there. All right, so what do we want in this deck? Spinneret seems good. Electricery doesn't seem that great. Chain Lightning, more removal. Natural state too, I guess. Uh, I'll take out, take out a vines, take out a mutagenic. I don't know if we want all that, honestly. Hunter will be good in this if we can pull it off. Take out a striking. Take out a two-headed. Take out a vines. They didn't have too much removal. It looks like they just had journeys. Do I drop the other mutagenic growth?
We could drop uh, striking, I guess. Yeah, let's drop another strike. Yeah, I don't know. I like striking. Eh, we'll drop the mutagenic. Sure. We'll see what happens. Yeah, he had a greedy play with the monarch move. Uh, I know it's good to be the monarch, but... It cost him the game, basically. Goodness me, what a hand. Alright, we're gonna go for a huge clutch winding way, I guess. But this is not a great hand, and I'm not happy with it. Get rid of one of the forests. Say done. Hope to just draw into more creatures here. Okay. Ooh, that's nice. I like that. He can develop a, vo a board very quickly, though, so it is a bit concerning. We, yeah, see, we're not going to be able to attack into that. So I think we're just going to go winding way here. Try to pull out some more creatures. Nice. Okay. That's, that's good. We'll drop this second Viverlint when it's more meaningful. When we can attack into the board here a little bit more. But look at this board. I mean, they got a fast board state, you know? It's rough. All right. I'd like to play both creatures. Should have played out the Rugged Highlands, I guess. I just played a uh, Predatory. We'll, uh... Let's play a Predatory and pass. We'll, we'll say that we're holding up a Lightning Strike or something. Threaten that. Hopefully they can't deal with our Predatory. They got three cards. We'll see. Alright, that's a problem. That's a problem. We're gonna take four. Not happy about it. We could go for an attack here and try to get some early pressure. It's just not that great of an attack with these loyal catheters. <laughs> loyal catheters. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. I think we're going to set up for some, uh, some potential blocks. Yeah, just one more turn. We can always winding way next turn, maybe pull into another lord or something. Or a first strike would be nice. They're not doing a whole lot yet. And they're passing. Okay, good. Lightning bolt. Okay. It's not bad. Let's see what we can pull here. Nothing. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. Oh, our violent outburst went away. Ooh, that's rough. That is rough. Well, okay, I think it's time we just empty our hand a little bit here and start swinging in. Let's get rid of one of these guys. I can have him back next turn. I just want to remove some problems. Alright, he's going to ephemerate.
Hmm. Should we keep up the pressure? Man, if that winding way refilled our hand, actually, <laughs> I would feel a lot better about this, but... He's got one card in hand. I don't want these guys to get any bigger. Let's just frick it. Let's go for it. They can start double blocking our Viverlance and stuff. That's fine. I need to whittle down their board a little bit more. I think that's the best way to go against this. So we just need to whittle down their board. As much as we can. These guys are going to become a major problem though. We hit them for a lot of poisonous. We let a lot of that come through. Ooh, frick. Can they just kill us here? 10, 12. Thraben. Look at that board. Oh my gosh. Just gonna attack with those, okay. Hunter Sliver, provoke, huh? Hmm. Can you help us? Probably not. Probably not. We need our first striker. Really. It's essentially what we needed. It's not looking good for us. We'll give it one more turn, see if there's anything else we can do, but I'm uh, pretty sure we're just going to concede and go to game three. Bunch of six sixes. Crazy. Not fun. Look at all them triggers. Crazy. I got a bunch of nine nights. Look at all these triggers. <laughs> all right, we'll concede. Let's go to game three. Uh, I'm pretty happy, I think. <sighs> Would have been nice to have striking. Maybe we do need him back in. Maybe get rid of a chain. Maybe Bladeback's just a little bit overrated in this matchup. We got lucky with it, uh, actually, you know? So maybe chain is fine, take out a Bladeback. What else could we do here? Take out Two-Headed, bring in Mutagenic Growth. Because he's got such a board state that he can double block anyways. It's not really a big deal for him. And he probably will. It kind of goes with his deck. So maybe that's not as strong as we think. We'll do it like that. We'll play first. This is not a great hand. I don't know if I can keep this. We got the winding way. Natural state. I'm going to mulligan. I don't like that. We'll keep this, but I'm not really happy about it either. Get rid of the teetering peaks. Say so done. Go down rugged. And pass. I'm going to chat him up a little bit.
That's a good start for them. All right. <laughs> we'll just go ahead and play what we can play. Let's see what happens here. Keep that open to see if he says anything. No attacks. Interesting. All right, let's attack and we'll violent outburst. Give me something. Give me a lord. Well, I'll take it, but I'm not happy about it. Rift Watch. I'll probably pop him out of the sky right quick. I don't really want him out on the battlefield to give him his two life. Oh, let's swing in for a good chunk. Let's get him back down to 20 at least, shall we? Looks like we both had a little bit of an awkward hand. He hasn't played a whole lot. Looks like he was flooded a little bit. Okay, muscle is good. Okay. Gonna equip. Sure. Let's go ahead and do that if we can get away with it. I'm gonna ephemerate. Turn it to his hand, okay. Interesting. I can dig it. We're still getting good draws though. We're getting pretty lucky with these draws, which is nice. Let's see if he blocks or takes. Alright, he takes. We're in a pretty good position. Gonna equip. Gonna play out his Sky Fisher. Chain Lightning. Yeah, let's see if we can get that out of here. Just gonna do another, another one. All right. We'll go here. We'll see what he does. We'll have a double block, and we'll do it like that. Play this. Get rid of both his creatures, put him to three. Benevolent bodyguard. He's got a hand to still dump out a lot, I'm sure. Yeah, he said uh, over here in the chat, he got a bit flooded. He did. Did get a bit flooded. So yeah, I can't type for crap. Sorry, guys. 
yeah, Nimchitsky is a cool guy. Like I said, see him in the stream all the time. It was nice to play with him. Usually when uh, he's online, he's online all the time on Magic Online. Uh, but he um, usually has a thing up underneath his uh, open lobbies that says, hey, I only want new builds. I only want custom builds or something like that. Home brews is what he'll say. I only want home brews. Um, so he doesn't want to play, you know, all the top tier decks or anything like that. He doesn't want to play the same decks. He wants to play new homebrews. He likes to homebrew with people and stuff like that. But he's a really cool guy uh, from what I've seen. So it's cool to finally uh, play against him. Uh, he joined me that time. So uh, that was cool. It's cool to see his uh, what he's been building and working on. And uh, good game to him. Uh, it was still a pretty good match. Pretty good matchups. Went back and forth. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that matchup. Uh, stay tuned for more. And, uh, yeah, we will have more Slivers next week, more Gruel Slivers next week. I'm hoping to get to the Nihilist still. Uh, it just happens every week that I get so busy that I just don't have time to set it up and get it running. So, hopefully, I'll, I'll try to get that going for you guys. Uh, but, yeah, leave a like, subscribe, stay tuned for more, and we will see you guys in the next video.